Hi guys, it is uh, 37 out. It is 4.11. I just worked till 4. Um, I'm warming up the car. And we're going to go to Horrocks. Um, which, as you know, is about my favorite place in the world. Uh, it's in the top 10 anyway. And so I can't leave, be in the Lansing area without at least one trip there. So we're going to go to Horrocks, then we're going to go to, we'll probably stop at Aldi because we need some half and half. We're pretty well set on most of our groceries. Uh, then we're going to we're gonna go to Chick-fil-A because, as I may or may not have mentioned a hundred times, I really want to try Chick-fil-A because I've heard so much about it. But we're never near one. Well, when we were in, last month when we were in the Toledo area, we went past one, but... We went past it a couple times, and both times we were in the long lane, long, wrong lane, and we didn't see it till after we went by. And so, uh, and traffic was really heavy too. Of course, that area traffic was heavy every time we went past, which was like a couple times. Um, so that's our evening plans. Uh, I'm feeling kind of crappy. I felt not too bad this morning. My throat hurts now, though. But I talked to Kelly, who you met in the at the Bugman dinner. She's Bob's wife, and <clears throat> she does. Um, I forget what it's called, but anyway, she said this could be a result of ilio ilio something valve. Anyway, I researched it, I googled it, I watched some YouTube videos on it, and I'm going to see if what they suggest works, so. Now Petey's here. Hello. There's Petey. Turn on the heat. <laughs> it's not warm yet, dear. I mean, but I did turn the air conditioner off that was on. <laughs> Jeez. I know, I don't know why. So, okay. Um, we're going to go. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, this is our first stop. Value La Volunteers of America of Value Land is a grocery store over there. This is our first stop. It's big. There's Petey. Hello. See how big it is in there? Real deep, real wide. So, I probably won't record in there. I may, but probably not. So, I'll see you later. Hey guys, this is this is the part of Horrocks we never go into. I'll show you more when I get out. But they have like stuff for gardens and gardening and feeding birds and pet well some pet foods they used to I haven't been in here in a few years but we never go in this one however their parking lot is so incredibly packed tonight that we can't park by the main store so we took the spot <clears throat> I thought I might as well show you that store while we're here their bird seed in here that they put together is so clean that I used to feed it to my parrots. Anyway, that's step number two. Come around here and there you go. Rox, yay! My favorite place. It'll be fun walking back up. Because we're going downhill now, right? They have zucchini on sale for 39 cents a pound. I could do so many things with zucchini. I love buying a lot of zucchini. Yep. Did I lock it? No. Oh. There, it's locked. Oh, I can't wait. But they are really packed all the way around the building. All the, They're just packed. So. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. We're in... Ooh -hoo. You guys, this place is so enormous, and they just said their coffee is now in the new edition. We don't even know where they had a new edition. So, but there are too many people. I don't want to vlog in here. So I'm going to go. Well, for those of you who have been here before, this is a new edition, which we haven't seen before, but we got lots of nuts. And it looks like it goes, Wow. This part of the addition, this part of the addition reminds me of the one in, ba in Battle Creek. 
wooden floor and stuff. Oh, look at all those different coffees. Tons of them. Lots of bulk stuff. Wow, this is the stuff that used to be in the middle by the bathrooms. And it's now opened up to the other building, which will make it easy for us when we leave. So this is all new, guys. This is all moved. Now they have a big candy counter. Goes all the way over there. Look at that. Wow. Very cool. But one thing I was going to get today, I was going to look at the Torani syrups. It's in there over there. Because i got to see if they have a raisin flavor. So, I'm going to go look at that. Wow, big addition. Wow. This is a deli, soup bar, sandwiches. They have a lot of things over there, like salads, like potato salad and olive salads and all kinds of stuff. And of course, this over here is vegetables. Vegetables everywhere. I just got zucchini for 39 cents a pound, got a bunch of them. We'll eat zucchini every day. I'll have to show you what I got when we get back. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you later. Big long cheese thing over there. Over here. Look at the size of those cheeses they got. Smile. Say cheese. <laughs> yep. Tons of cheese. I just got some shrimp. Cooked and clean. Great big monster shrimp. Those are the biggest ones I've ever seen. Got four pounds. I, you haven't seen even half of the store of all this stuff I've been putting out, but it's best I can do, guys. The area that used to have coffee and bulk stuff and candy, it's all wine and stuff now. Very pretty. And then... Donuts and bakery and stuff. There's the cheese. Lots of baked goods. Fresh baked stuff. And dairy. Oh. I typically don't get dairy here, but it depends if they're having sales. Two pounds of Amish roll butter, or it's actually four eggs. And there's another room over there for cheese and dairy. Stuff is everywhere. Like I said, I don't usually get stuff here though. The regular butter, $6.29 for two pounds. I just paid $2.34. And then we come back here. Frozen fruit, vegetable, and the meat department, which is Shut this again. This is all more bakery, frozen meats and fish, seafood. All the way down there is and all the way through this whole section and area is wine and other alcoholic things that I don't you know I don't understand. But yeah. I figure since I just got four pounds of shrimp at nine bucks a pound, I better not get any more meat. <laughs> Alright. That's another section of it shown. Okay, now we came around, there's a meat counter way back there. Chocolate. There's their florist and flowers and some more wine or something. Plants, you can see how far they go all the way across the store. Again. 
Ooh, pretty plants. Those little pepper things and they're pretty plants for Christmas. Over there, lots of canned and go ahead. Cans and jars and specialty preserved things. Tell you what. And if you look way at that other end, that's where we started. It's where all the tea was and stuff. So we are very we are very far. But very pretty, so that's gonna be it. And I will see you guys. We will either hold this or turn this off. And I will see you guys later. Oh, all that shrimp. Four pounds of shrimp. That's the only thing we got cold. Was the shrimp. 57 something. That wasn't bad at all. Okay, I forgot to vlog the pet store. We went and sold and got bird food, but we weren't in there for long and there wasn't much to see. But that's the new Chick-fil-A. They have traffic winding all around the parking lot just to go through their drive through Look at that place. Their entire parking lot is packed. Aldi is right across the parking lot over there, so I'm hoping by the time we get done there... But see, look at look at all the cones they have so that people can't just cut in and stuff. They have cones everywhere. Well, I don't know if you can see them in the dark. They have cones everywhere. Oh, my goodness. They have cones here everywhere. I mean, look at all those freaking people. Everybody wants Chick-fil-A, and it's been open like a month. Anyway, we're going to go to Aldi now. Sorry I didn't record at Solden's. Here's where we end up for dinner. We're starving. We would not get into Chick-fil-A for an hour. <laughs> so after we went to Aldi and got a couple things, here we are. They have a little of this, little of that, little everything else in here. So we'll find something. Little Red Schoolhouse Antiques that's been there for so many years. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Hi guys, on our way back to uh, Gwen's house. Taking a different route today. Let's see, I'm going to turn left up here at some point, but going downtown Lansing. Look at the high-rise apartments. Well, oh, those weren't, I don't think those were there before. They may have been, but I don't think so. Anyway, we're coming in on the back side of the Capitol. There's our tallest building, and there's Constitution Hall. This is all state state buildings, state offices all through here. This is tall. And there is the Capitol. I'm going to drive around so you can see the Capitol tree. There is our beautiful Capitol. I think we just have such a pretty Capitol building. Look at that. I just really like our Capitol building here in this town. Let me zoom up. That's a little far. That's about like what I'm seeing. There's our beautiful Capitol tree. Capitol building. And going around and coming back up to give you a better view. I love this downtown area. We have such a pretty downtown area. We, I say, and I don't even live down here anymore. Um, We have a very pretty downtown area. Got a roundabout. You had three big Christmas bulbs. Got to stop for the roundabout. Stop and then yield. Oh, first stop, then <laughs> yield. See down there, all the pretty lights. Okay, well then they got to stop and yield. Yep, yeah, everybody got to stop and yield. But anyway, here we go. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Isn't that something? Makes me want to cry. It's so beautiful. People come just to see that tree. Oh, lots of people taking pictures and stuff. Cool, I got to stop. So let me back off and see if I can show the whole thing.
I'm going to try and get a picture. This computer table that Pete set up for me broke. You can see where it broke. And he's got it taped together with duct tape. And But I have no fear. He found a different one. Sit stands up, does the same thing as that one. This was uh, two dollars and two cents. I found a few little tinsel candy canes to hang up for Christmas. Ninety cents. So they're still in the package. That was at the thrift store. Where I also got that curtain rod and that heavy. It's a real heavy curtain. It's like not. It feels kind of like corduroy, but it's not. Real heavy anyway to prevent dra drafts. I've got that oil pan there because at Horrocks I found my favorite squash, Delicata. They had a few of them mixed in with a bunch of other different squashes, and they were all little baby small ones, um, Delicatas. So I haven't had any this year. I'm getting them out of the bag. So we went through, we looked under the Hubbards, we looked under the acorns, the butternuts. We looked under all the other squashes and picked out a bunch of delicatas. Got all the ones they had. And then they had this thing called a carnival. Looks like a acorn squash, but it's orange and yellow. So I got one of those too. Let's see what else we got. Um this. Oh, for food, I had coupons, so this is what I got. I'll mix them. Ugh. I'll mix them both together. Big birds, little birds, whatever. Because that's not all they get. Clorox also had 10 pound bags of russet potatoes for buck forty-nine. We'll never eat that many, so I'll take out some and put them in there with those and then uh Give the rest to Gwen and Don. I got a Savoy cabbage because I have a recipe I want to use it for. I got 11 zucchinis. One was really big. I was going to get 12. So they were 39 cents a pound. I got some onions, some sweet onions. They were only 99 cents a pound and they're massive. Massive onions. Look at that. So I got three of those. I got some sugar-free brown sugar cinnamon tarani syrup for Christmas stuff. I got some sliced mushrooms for 99 cents. Those two packages I got. Those with that Savoy cabbage are gonna and some bacon. There'll be a recipe I'm making tomorrow. Then I got some at Aldi, some sauce, some cocktail sauce, and some tomato sauce. He got a couple bags of his pretzels that he likes. And then over here from Aldi, not all from Aldi, from Clorox, we got four pounds of shrimp. This is about two and a half pounds. I gave a lot of it to Gwen and Don already. But we got tons of frozen shrimp. They were eight ninety nine a pound, already cleaned, cooked. Four quarts and half and half. As you know, we go through a ton of it. And then from these, the half and half, and the cheese is all from all these. So that's uh, pretty much our haul and all the stuff I got to find a spot for tonight. And actually, the only thing that I have a spot for is that. <laughs> um, it, it's doing a great job of blocking drafts from the front door. Don ran it through their dryer for me because obviously, especially in this area, when you buy something from a used store, you never ever bring it in the house because bed bugs are everywhere. They're like approaching epidemic in this area. So anyway, before it ever came in, it went through the dryer to kill anything that might be on it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go to get our stuff put away. It is 11.13, and I'm going to get all this stuff put away and go to bed because I'm exhausted. I feel like crap. 
My throat hurts. My glands are swollen again. Chloe's looking at me over the wall. Hi, Chloe. Right next to the phone. <laughs> She's so cute. I will see you tomorrow. I hope you guys all have a great weekend. And uh, lots of fun. And uh, or rest or productive or whatever it is you want to do. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. God bless and good night.